Welcome to Future Doctor Neat Academy for the problem solving session in Neat Physics. Topic chosen today is from Chapter Nine: Ray Optics and Optical Instruments. Let's move to question number one. A concave mirror of focal length f1 is placed at a distance of d from a convex lens of focal length f2. A beam of light coming from infinity is falling on this convex lens concave mirror combination returns to infinity. The distance d must be dash equal to dash. That is, this is the concave mirror and uh, this is convex lens. After that, it goes to infinity. Then distance d you want to find. That is the distance for concave mirror is 2f1. That is the two times of focal length. d equal to, suppose f1 is the focal length of the concave mirror and f2 is the focal length of convex lens. Then d equal to, for focal length of the concave mirror is 2f1 plus convex lens is f2 plus f2. That is, Option C. Option C is the correct answer. Let's move to question number two. A man is six feet tall. In order to see his entire image, he requires a plane mirror of minimum length equal to dash. That is size of the image. Suppose this is the size of the image is equal to h by two. Height of the object divided by two. Height of the object is given six feet divided by two equal to three feet. Option also given in feet only, so no need to convert feet into Yes, so you need. So keep as it is. So three feet. Option D is the correct answer. Let's move to question number three. If two mirrors are kept inclined at sixty degree to each other and a body is placed at the middle, then total number of image formed must be equal to dash. Formula is n equal to three sixty degree divided by theta divided by theta minus 1 theta minus 1 this is the formula theta is the angle so number of images produced equal to 360 degree divided by theta minus 1 and theta is given 60 degree then n equal to 360 divided by 60 minus 1 then 0 0 getting cancelled 6 6 36 6 minus 1 5 so number of images produced when the two mirrors kept at 60 degree is 5 option b Five is the correct answer. Let's move to question number four. Which color of light has the longest wavelength? That is all blue, green, violet, red. All comes under visible light. Visible light is VBR. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. This is only VBR. And violet is the shortest wavelength and red is the longest wavelength. So there will be increasing wavelength. Lambda value increasing like this. Then question is which color of the light has the longest wavelength? Therefore, red is correct answer. Option D, red. Let's move to question number 5. A thin prism having refractive angle 10 degree is made of glass of refractive index 1.42. This prism is combined with another thin prism of glass of refractive index 1.7. The combination produces dispersion without deviation. The refracting angle of second prism should be dash. That is what is the given data. That is A1 is given. A1 is given 10 degree. And refractive index is refractive index. Mu1 is given how much? 1.42. 1.4. And then another refractive index. Mu2 is given. Mu2 is given 1.7. You should find another angle. A2 you should find. And there is a condition given. This combination produces dispersion without deviation. Dispersion without deviation means that the deviation, that net deviation, that is a del1 minus del2 equal to 0. That is a condition. Okay. Then del equal to mu minus 1 into a. What is del? Del is a deviation. Mu is the refractive index. A angle. Angle of prism. Then delta 1 equal to mu 1 minus 1 into a 1. Del 2 mu 2 minus 1 into a 2. Then substitute this here. And you want to find a 2 only. From that a 2 equal to. Okay. First you simplify for a 2. Mu 2 minus 1 into a 2 equal to mu 1 minus 1 into a1 a2 equal to mu1 minus 1 by mu2 minus 1 into a1 substitute this mu1 minus 1 mu1 is 1.42 minus 1 that is 0 0.42 and mu2 is 1.7 minus 1 0 0.7 into a1 what is the value of a1 10 simplify this 7535 7642 so 0 0.6 0 0.6 into 10 how much 0 0.6 into 10 is 6 therefore a2 equal to 
six degree. Option B. Option B is the correct answer. Let's move to question number six. Which of the following is not due to total internal reflection? A difference between apparent real depth of pond, mirage of the hot summer days, brilliance of diamond, working of optical fiber. Which is one? Yes. Option A is the correct answer. This is due to refraction. This is due to just your refraction. Others are all total internal reflection. Let's move to question number. Let's move to question number seven. Last question. When a biconvex lens of glass having refractive index 1.47 is dipped in a liquid, it acts as a plain sheet of glass. This implies that the liquid must have refractive index dash. That is, biconvex lens of glass having refractive index 1.47 is dipped in a liquid and it acts as a plain sheet of glass. Plain sheet of glass means what will happen? It goes without any deviation. No refraction takes. If no refraction or no deviation takes place, then its refractive index is same as previous. That is, its refractive index is 1.47 only. So, equal to the tough glass. Refractive index is equal to the tough glass. That is, option 7 is the correct answer. Thank you, students. In the next session, we will see in next chapter solution, problem solving solution in this session. Thank you.